All right, I got a chop saw here. I'm gonna be scrapping. As you can see, the handle's all broken off. So, first of all, this base, the stop guard is all aluminum. So, I'll start by taking all the steel parts off of this aluminum. And I'll show you after that what that looks like after it's done. Like we got a electric motor here. I'll go right in the motor pin. Cut these wires off from it. Electric motor. Nice chunk of aluminum. Right now I'm taking off the bolt that holds the big spring on this. get this bolt out it's got two set screws right here allen key set screws take both those out and the bolt should pound out all right i almost got this last set screw out just little allen key set screws now this bolt should pound out it. Gotta be careful with this, this spring will go flying. I'm gonna put it in the lock, lockdown position. Try to get the pin out. get that out and I'll come back all right finally got that pin out stuck in there pretty bad pretty hard I'll take that apart that was the big spring that was in there so it looks like this piece is solid aluminum Take off this piece, that's steel, this aluminum, aluminum. Take off this bolt. I'll be pretty much in the base of it. All right, so got those two pieces apart. And it looks like to take this bolt off, you're gonna have to drill out those two rivets and take out that one set screw. So I'll get that apart. All right, I got both those parts took, took them all apart. Those are 
All cast aluminum. Now we can start by taking the handle apart. It's got Phillips screws. So, just a little bit of wiring. So, a little bit of insulated wire. Take the piece of brass out of this outlet plug. Just pull them out with the pliers or wire cutters. All right, so that's complete. So you get a little bit of insulated wire Pretty good size electric motor. Probably about 10 pounds of cast aluminum. Those two pieces of brass from that plug. And then a little bit, a little bucket of steel. All right, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe.